A top official at the governor's office resigns after posting a controversial tweet that seemed to suggest uh, violence. This came on the same day as the Nashville shooting that took the lives of three children and three teachers. Fox 10's Brian Webb live at the Capitol tonight with the latest. Brian. Well, the press secretary is a top advisor to the governor, but with one ill-advised and inappropriate tweet, Jocelyn Berry went from one of the most powerful positions in the state to the unemployment line. This is the controversial tweet posted late Monday. It's a clip from a 1980s movie, Gloria, an actress aiming a gun in each hand. The caption written by the press secretary reads, us when we see transphobes. I would have fired them immediately. It, it, it to me is very inappropriate and beneath the dignity of the office. Daniel Scarpinato knows a thing or two about being a press secretary. He was one under Governor Ducey before becoming chief of staff. He didn't really notice the online uproar until about 24 hours later, mostly coming from conservatives, calling it offensive and tone deaf. So it probably wasn't the best person to put on the ninth floor, you know, a few feet away from the governor. Um, and your staff is a reflection of, of you, especially the person who's speaking on your behalf. Yeah. Here are a few clips of Jocelyn Berry from previous stories. Her post was part of a longer Twitter exchange over transgender rights and progressive politics and came on the same day as the Nashville shooting. Three children and three adults were killed at the hands of a transgender. Given what had happened um, that day on Monday with the tragedy in uh, Tennessee, it seemed um, pretty offensive and inappropriate for the governor's spokesperson to put something like that out. A statement from the governor's office today says that the governor does not condone violence of any kind and that the post by the press secretary is not reflective of the values we hold in this administration. I did reach out to Jocelyn Berry for comment, but did not hear back. Live at the state capitol, I'm Brian Webb, Fox 10 News.